Alright, so welcome back to my channel, you guys. I want to go ahead and review a new sponge from the drugstore. And I'm so excited because, like, honestly, it's just something I've always wanted to try. But I never got my hands on it. And it's a Real Techniques Miracle Powder Sponge. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, like, what is so cool about this sponge? Like, it's probably a regular sponge. Um, but if you guys do know the Juno sponge out there, theirs is a velvety fiber sponge. And I've always wanted to try it out because I've heard so many good reviews on it. But Real Techniques went ahead and came out with their own microfiber technology sponge. So it's velvety and it's soft and I just want to see how it performs on the skin Even though it claims to be a powder pickup sponge I still want to try it out for foundation concealer because I want to see if it blends everything really nicely on the skin And why am I so out of breath like? Why am I sorry, breath? But with that being said, I do hope this turns out nicely because I just love the packaging. I think everything's really cute. So I do hope it works on my skin. So yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and see how this whole thing turns out, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so first and first, I paid about $5.99 for this in Target. I've only seen it at Target and Ulta. So go to your local stores and you'll see it there. Um, but I do want to read the claims of what it says it'll do. So it claims it's a foam technology that is paired with proprietary velvety material for evenly blended powder. And you can go ahead and seamlessly set your powder foundation for a matte base now it also says that it has a rounded side for blending flat edge for baking and pointed tip for coverage and you can go ahead and use a damp or dry with your powders so yes yeah, all the claims on here i do want to open it up and see what this feels like and i always struggle with opening stuff you guys on video like i don't know what it is but when i'm filming i'm just always struggling so I finally got it out and this is a sponge and it feels soft it doesn't feel that different from normal sponges but you can tell it's a little bit different in the textures and it's just a little bit softer too also so this is what it looks like dry I'm gonna go ahead and wet it and see how much bigger it gets once it's wet so I'll be right back okay so I'm back and it got a whole lot bigger of course and it's so soft and bouncy if I'm honest with you guys your original sponge I really don't like I used to like it back in the day but i think they changed something in it so it feels a little bit different and more like rubbery this doesn't feel anything like that it feels really soft and nice on the skin so let's just go ahead and apply foundation for today i'm using my maybelline super stay full curve foundation in the shade um coconuts i know on my channel i've been using a lot of the same products so i realized i have to go ahead and switch it up a little bit so i'm gonna take a little bit of this onto the back of my hand and dot it on my face you guys like i'm really really excited because i don't know what it is with sponges i love trying out sponges i have like 12 in my collection so that's kind of a lot to be honest with you guys but hopefully this works out for me all right so we got it on the face and we're ready to go i'm gonna take the sponge right here i'm just gonna start blending it into the skin So right off the back, I can tell this makes your foundation very, very full coverage because usually when I apply foundation on my skin, it doesn't look this intense and like, you know, just out there. So I realized right off the back, you don't need a lot of foundation on your skin. Make sure you go ahead and apply a little bit less than you normally do. But you guys, like this is really, really full coverage. Like I may have to go ahead and use my other sponge to share it out just a little bit because this is a little too full coverage and at the same time i realized i don't know if it's just me but it's making my foundation also really matte on the skin so that's another thing i do want to mention if you do have a matte foundation i feel like it's going to make it really really matte um i'm not sure about dewy foundation just because i don't use those i have oily skin um but so far it looks really matte on the skin and really full coverage and also I know when I read the claims, it didn't say to use it for your foundation or your concealer, but I want to go ahead and try it out for that. Um, but I will say up close, everything looks really, really good so far. And one thing I do want to mention, if you do have discoloration, I feel like the sponge is perfect because it's very full coverage on the skin once you apply your foundation everything like that. And you usually have to go ahead and apply like two layers on this area of my skin, but it's covering it up really nicely. So I really don't need to do that. So I think it shared that really nicely because at first I was just like, whoa, like this is a little, this is a little too much. But I think everything turned out a little bit better on um, the more I blended it out. So moving on to concealer, I do have the Maybelline concealer in the shade um, tan. This is their Fit Me concealer. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this underneath the eyes. And I'm also really gonna test out if the sponge blends it out nicely because when it comes to my under eyes, I'm very, very specific because of course everybody wants it smooth and flawless and whatnot. So 
hopefully the sponge does that too but i will say my skin is looking really nicely you guys like it looks really good so so far so good but now taking the other end of the sponge i'm just gonna go ahead and press it into the skin and also when it comes to my concealer it's making it look very full coverage because when it comes to maybelline fit you guys this concealer is a very sheer to medium coverage concealer but on the skin with this sponge i will say it is looking very very full coverage And last but not least is powder for the under eyes because I do want to set my under eyes, of course. And this sponge is made specifically for powders and bacon and everything like that. So I want to test that out. So I'm first going to dip some of this into the powder. And I do first press it into my skin before I do bake because I just want to set the area first. So I will say at first, pressing it into my skin, I really wasn't a fan of it because it wasn't applying like it normally did. It just looked a little bit different, but the more I did blend it into my skin, it looks a lot more smooth and just like, you know, everything just looks a little bit better. So I will give it that. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and bake on top. Just a little bit of powder. Because with this, honestly y'all, like you don't need too much product. Like a little bit goes a long way. So it's been about 10 minutes or so, so I'm ready to brush this powder off my face. And I mean, honestly, it doesn't look any different than it normally does, so I'm not really expecting anything too much. But it looks really smooth, you guys. I will say that it looks really smooth underneath the eyes. So I'm finally done with my skin, and I feel like everything just looks really good, you guys. Like, I have nothing bad to say like i mean with this sponge i just knew it was gonna be good honestly when it comes to real techniques a lot of their products are really good so i wasn't expecting anything too bad with this but i don't know i'm really happy with how everything looks and yeah so let me go ahead and finish up the rest of my face i'll be back with my final thoughts i mean you guys already know how i feel about this but i also go ahead and brown this whole video up so i'll be back in a second all right so i'm back with my final thoughts on the real technique sponge and obviously you guys know i love the sponge i love the way it performed on the skin i know it's geared towards powders and whatnot but honestly you guys i like a little bit more for foundation concealer because when it came to the powder it did an okay job but i wasn't like obsessed with it um but when it came to the foundation and concealer and all the liquids on my skin i feel like it performed a little bit better than powders so that's just my final thoughts on the sponge right here i want you to go ahead and pick it up because i actually think it's worth it um for 5.99 it's not a you know crazy price out there like 20 dollars um so you can go ahead and save a little bit of money but i do want you guys to check it out because i think it's a little bit different than what's out there normally and I do know it's like a dupe of the Juno sponge which I haven't tried so I can't really say too much about that but with this I do love it so hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe your way out I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one